and good day. Today we're having a look at this. This is the TH3D Isabel Pro bed leveling kit for the CR-10. This is what I bought and uh, I had this printed by them because uh, I don't have any ABS and I can't be bothered uh, printing it out with uh, you know, ABS funny enough. Uh, this is the actual kit itself. Uh, this is the wonderful little thing that does all the all the bed leveling magic. So I'll open it up. We'll have a bit of a look at it. Um, tear this thing open and we'll see what we've got in here. Hopefully it'll be uh, worth the money. I've waited a while for it to arrive due to this horrible COVID-19 situation we've got. I think I just dropped a screwdriver it looks like. Um, so that's the unit itself. I've got obviously some little, uh, what have we got, little Dubawakis here, some little ties. Okay, what is this? This is, let's open it up and find out I suppose. Let's have a look. Oh, crazy. Why do they always use plastic that's so hard to get into? Oh, there we go. Finally got it. So that's the Okay, that's all the electronic goodness in there. So I'll have to uh, figure out how to put all this together shortly. Okay, we've got that, that. We've got them. What else have we got here? Oh, the uh, power supply. I'm running mine off a uh, Raspberry Pi, so I didn't need a power supply to go to the wall. So that's what this is. This will fit directly onto my Raspberry Pi. And that should do the job nicely. So that's the kit, and uh, I'll pick up the screwdriver. <laughs> there, there we go, that's the one that fell on the floor. That is one small screwdriver. Anyway, that's the kit. We'll have a go at putting it together and uh, see how it works. And that's the full kit that I decided to buy. We've got the zip ties, the Isabel Pro. Uh, motherboard in there, we've got the probe itself, some wire for wiring up the necessary bits and pieces. I bought a power supply that plugs direct into the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi and I had them print out this rather than me print my own. I don't have any ABS so that should do the job nicely. Next uh, job of course is putting it on the printer and see if it works. What I've done is completely remove the uh, Z-stop taken it away from over here and uh, exposed the little cable there and that will plug nicely into here with a bit of luck. So that's the first thing that I've uh, plugged in. And as you can see we've grabbed the power supply which will fit in nicely as well. Plug straight in and, uh, and we've got to turn the little box around, plug in that in like so and uh, we'll turn the power on in a second and uh, see if anything happens. It's always exciting when this uh, bit starts. I'll just hit the power switch. And of course everything being nice and electronic these days I do everything uh, this way, it makes life a little bit easier for me. So I just turn on the 3D printer. And we are powered on. Look, we've got a bit of power running through there. Switch itself. If you can see, maybe there. I'd like to zoom out the other way and have a better look at this other way. And as you can see, the switch is uh, working. I don't know if that will show on the. Oh, there it goes. So everything's wired up correctly. I'll. Uh, have a bit of a tinker with it and see if we can get this wired in a bit better than what it is. Now the next thing I've got to do is unscrew two little bolts there and fit this uh, 
hospital holder in, which we'll do in a second. And as you can see, it's connected up nicely now. All I have to do is plug in the power supply there. I've already leveled the bed. We've got everything connected. And all that's left is, well, to do a print, which is what I'm about to do. We've got a couple of seconds before the uh, printer reaches its preset temperature. And a few more seconds and it will start. And here we go. This is the leveling process. And hopefully I've got everything set correctly. And we'll soon find out. I'll just get rid of that bit there. Don't need that. That was from a previous print. And definitely looking good. I'm happy with what I'm seeing so far. Yep, very happy. I can't complain. It looks like it's working exactly how it's supposed to. So definitely giving uh, this a thumbs up as they say. Now hopefully you've enjoyed watching my video. Consider a thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, doesn't matter. Perhaps you'd like to leave a comment. I'd appreciate that. And hopefully I'll get to see you on the very next video, whatever it happens to be. All the very best till then. Bye for now.